Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. We've just learned from younger Vlad here, who is the son of Big Vlad of the Olgimsky family. We've just learned from them that Isidore may have been infected with the plague, and Isidore has been walking around the whole town visiting the major families and all sorts of people. So the chance of having spread the plague to many other people is very high. If they indeed had it in the first place. So we're thinking that maybe that is what killed Simon. Maybe they got infected with a plague from Isidore. And then little Vlad told me that Reuben, who apparently is going to dissect Simon's body, is in danger because obviously if they're going to dissect Simon's body, <clears throat> and Simon's body has the plague, then I need to stop that. The body needs to be, I guess, burned. Or certainly at least not touched, quarantined in some way. Destroyed or quarantined. So I need to try to find Reuben. I said I would search in the warehouse district, and it looks like that's where Ruben's base of operation is, although they said that the uh, little Vlad said that Ruben probably is not there. In fact, I think they said that they're sure that Ruben would not be there. But I don't really have any other leads, so I guess I'm just going to go and see if I can find them there. Or maybe some clue they left behind as to where they went. You know, like, uh, out to lunch, you can find me at so-and-so place, or something like that. Uh, if only... What's this building? Hmm, can't go inside. Now, I don't think you can just enter any building you want, right? I think it's only the ones that are marked. Yep. Okay, so just these three. Ruben's Place, Bad Grief's Lair, and... one of the gang members' hideouts. Let's go to Ruben's Place first. Hey, kid. Look for some whoa. Look for some clue. Uh, apparently, I can use this thing. <clears throat> Guess there's no slide in there to examine. You'd think you could examine these stacks of paper, but nope. Nothing in there. It's gonna mash E on everything to make sure I didn't. Oh! Oh, you can use that, but there's nothing in it. Yeah, there's not a damn thing in here other than this, but. Nothing to examine. Hmm. Where are you, Ruben? What are you looking at? <sighs> well, should I save that for later and hope they pop up at some point? I think some of the other options is that Reuben might be at the Kane's residence. So maybe once I go back there, maybe I'll find him just hanging out. Vlad the Younger is more than eager to get rid of some beast-like troublemaker. I wonder what the creature whose murder would not be considered a crime look like. Should I go do that, I guess? I suppose so. 
Apparently that's where they're hiding out. Let's go do it. No time to spare. What time is it? 2 p.m.? Almost 3 p.m.? Yeah, I'm supposed to find the killer by dark. Let's go. Let's keep going. I want to check out the chieftain's place and all sorts of things, but I don't think I have time. Machinery churning. Factory building number four. The machine. Can I actually go inside of this place? I think I can hear cattle inside. Like screaming. It looks like there's ladders that go in between the buildings, but how do you get up there in the first place? I probably shouldn't be spending time on this, but I really am curious. Nah, I can't spend time on this right now. Gotta keep going. Straight this way. locked. Is there another way in? Because if not, then I'm kind of screwed. Oh, <laughs> just use the front door. Alright, how come my gun, right? Yeah. Just make sure it's loaded. Just in case. I don't plan on using it, but I might have to. For fun. He who distrusts himself is better off silent. Do you know where to find clean water around here? Fresh water must be plentiful in this place. There's a river close by. All that water comes from the steppe, and it isn't exactly clean. Yesterday I inspected all the springs in the area. There seems to be no more clean water around. That salty taste is everywhere. It's reddish in color, and there are disgusting clots in it. Oh, God. Bloody water. Where can I find clean water, then? The townsfolk store clean water in homemade reservoirs. This modest supply should be enough to help us last a little while. But afterwards, we'll have to drink that bloody mixture. Ugh. How disgusting. Why is the termitary so loud? What are they celebrating? What do you want, I wonder? There's a runaway hiding here. Take me to him. Why would I? I need to ask him a few questions. He's a butcher. He won't talk to you. You wouldn't understand him. 
He's been here for more than a day, but even I can't get him to talk. It is I who'd rather tell you something. What do you want to tell me? Big Vlad has plugged the termitary up for a reason. The butcher's mumbling is all over the place. But if you listen carefully, you'll make out tales of such horrors that I get shivers all over. Thousands, thousands of people have lost their minds all at once there. Many have died. Something's brewing inside. Take me to the butcher. I'll interrogate him personally. Are you sure? Have you forgotten that he's crazed? If you think he'll communicate with you, you're mistaken. They aren't great talkers, anyway. And they can only howl, growl, and bawl when they're under a spell. Hmm. I can hold my own. Go then. The butcher's in the hospice. The entrance is at the other side of the house. Don't come back here complaining afterwards, though. I'll deal with it. Sounds like I'm really not going to get much out of this conversation. But I might as well try. Ooh, did I just pick up a plant? Flower. Women like flowers. Both little girls and... Lascivious dancers. Hi. I guess I was expecting one of those worm-like creatures. You don't look like a worm. Damn, they're tall. Let's see if we can interrogate them and get anything useful. Oh. But hey, look, their little ragdoll image is happy. That's something. Uh, do kindly tell me, do you even understand me? Whoa! Okay. That's a no. Well. Ow. How am I doing? My health is not too good. It's at like 60%. Shit. I'm also pretty hungry. I doubt I would be able to deal with a brute of such ferocity. Uh, so what the hell do I do? Do I just kill him? Uh, what? Where did they go? I guess I can't. Um, alright. Let's go talk to the person inside again. They said don't come back to complain, uh, but I don't intend to complain, I just want to know where they went. Hello. He who distrusts himself is better off silent. Your veins are all swollen. Does being close to me make your blood stir? Uh, what? Is she implying that I'm attracted to her, or...? Was there anyone around that would want to see Simon killed? <laughs> no one's seen the Shabnak yet, but everyone knows what he wants already. Do you know that a man-eater's victim feels the encroaching death? They know in advance they're next on his list. And so they walk about restlessly, waiting and waiting and waiting. And then the wait is over. That's how you can tell who's being hunted. Why are you calling her a he? I don't believe the man-eater is a woman. 
Anything is possible, of course. But I think it's sexless. You seem to be well informed. What's wrong with my... I guess that's it. So I wonder what's going to happen with that Butcher storyline. I, I guess I let them get away. I mean, that's certainly not what I intended. There's no way they could have just snuck past me, but I guess that's what happened by leaving. Weird. Just double check. Yeah, they're definitely not there. Okay, I guess that quest is just failed or something? Jesus, what do I do now? I need to find Reuben. Yep, that's my main quest right now, find Reuben. Reuben, Reuben, Reuben. I'm gonna visit Grace's Lodge, because I remember there being something of significance there. And when I say remember, I don't mean from this playthrough, but I mean from years and years ago when I played through this game. Oh god. 4 p.m. Massive graveyard. Let's make a perma save. This sample handed runaway had no mercy for a wounded man. He can't be a true warden. It's hard. Not only do they need to be fed, but talked to as well. I need to find the words of comfort for them. Only then will they repay us with tenderness and joy. But now they're all anxious. Every single one of them is mumbling something. That's why I look so tired. Who are you talking about? Of the dead themselves. Do not assume that people die forever. Not everyone does. Some people live underground and only die out for the lack of care. You have to always knock from this side, so that they don't fade away. Uh, let me examine your pupils. Okay, now your pulse. Do you take drugs? No. It's Twire, the herb. We sleep in the very heart of the steppe, you know. I'm all green because of it. It's high time for it at the moment. Can you hear how the air is tolling? That's Twire. Unbelievable. The ruler should take some measures immediately. What's wrong with you? I have a terrible headache, but it will pass soon. I don't actually know how to pronounce that word. Quinine, quinine, quinine? Well, whatever that is, can help, if you don't have anything better. I want to give everybody painkillers or something, but I don't think I can. I'm soaking wet. Uh, you are? Seems pretty dry. <clears throat> Unless you meant, uh, I'm gonna go now. Maybe something happens with her later, or maybe it's, if uh, maybe the significant thing I was thinking of happens if you play a different character. Okay, what the hell do I do now? I guess just go back and visit every one of these swirls. See if Reuben will show up at one of them. I'm assuming the swirls mean that there's something new I can do there. So let's go back to, let's go back to, uh, Vlad. I really wish I could sprint. But there's no sprint key. I guess you're always sprinting.
Sudden music change. Oh, I should also... I should also stop at any store I see along the way, because I do need food. Uh, I do have water, though, but I don't know if that will satiate my hunger. Oh, right, hazelnuts, too. Let's see. It takes down my hunger a tiny bit, but it also makes my exhaustion go up. I'm actually really close to being exhausted. Like, really, really close. Uh, that's a closed door. I could eat the hazelnut. It's rumored that there used to be a large stockpile of tree nuts in Warehouse 11, and Notkin's friends made off with four sacks. Can never be infected. Hmm. I feel like maybe I should have kept that. Like, it can be used to maybe barter with somebody or something. I'm going the wrong way, what the hell? Oh no. Am I trapped? Yeah, I remember this game feeling very aimless at times, where you're just like, what the hell am I supposed to do? This is kind of one of those times. I feel like I'm never going to find Reuben. I feel like it's impossible to find him. In, this, in such a huge place. There's the lump. Any stores around here? Yeah, there's one right there. Let's go see if it's a food store. Hmm. No, it's medicine. Oh, hi. You must be the daughter. Right, I never looked for another, uh... Another place to enter. It's hard for us to believe in things that lie outside of our scope. Look at all this. If only my dear mother was alive, she'd take the reins of power in her hands. Even father would listen to her. But who is to take care of us now? Not Katerina, that's for sure. The mistress is too exhausted. Katerina is supposed to take care of you? Katerina is scared like a child herself. And I also think she's being tricked. Yes, her prophecies come true just like it's always been. But they are becoming more and more noisy. Every word she utters comes across as a metaphor. Can she really predict the future? She sees the vague features, and she always speaks the truth, just like a true mistress ought to. I see. It's hard for us to believe in things that lie outside of our scope. I have a terrible headache, but it will pass soon. Hmm, this is just like the conversation with Grace, was her name? The woman, woman I just talked to at the cemetery? Yeah, I feel like I should be giving these people... Drugs. Morphine and stuff, but I don't... What? Huh? W what? Unless... Hold on. The winter comes soon. The winter comes... Can I do this? Will this use it on her? No, I just took that myself. Yes? I'm actually going to experiment and see if I'm missing something with, with this, because I feel like I should be able to give her these drugs. Nah, it doesn't seem like you can. Okay, let's 
go talk to Big Vlad then. And yeah, look at this. There's obviously two more floors, right? There's two more floors, but I can't see any access to those floors from inside. Isn't that just so strange? It's weird. No. I won't believe in... Hmm. Nothing new there, so I guess the marking on the map doesn't necessarily mean there is something new for me here. Because there's that mark, and indeed there's nothing new for me. Well, crap. I feel really, really lost. Should I go back to the canes? Ah, I'm gonna go back to the canes. I think that's one of the places little Vlad said Reuben might be. Might be waiting at the canes. I do want to go see Worm, too, which is very close to the Canes, by Ava's place. Yeah, so go to the Canes, visit Worm, and also I need food. I believe there's a shop this way, yeah. This place is a shop of some sort. Ah, medicine, I don't need medicine. Let's just check and make sure they don't have food, they might. Hey, you're a clone of the other dude. Nope. Just medicine. I'm not even going close to the right way anymore. Going this way, right? Yes. Should take me right to the bridge. Pop across the bridge and then I should be at the Kane's residence. might be food. Is that what that sign means? You're also a clone. That is very creepy. Yes, food! Okay, how expensive is it? 165. That's not too bad. I've got 1500. Dried fish. Fresh meat. Fresh meat is nutritious and tasty if properly cooked, so I need to cook it first, and I don't know how to do that. How would I cook it? This meat was cooked a month ago. Very nutritious and filling. A piece of stale bread. Hard as rock, but with no signs of mold. Unlikely to be dangerous, but rumor has it that it can be. Ew. Increases immunity slightly. Reduces fatigue. But increases hunger. Okay. So it wakes you up and provides a little bit of immunity, but otherwise it doesn't really help. Let's go with smoked meat, because it's the same price as the bread, and it's not stale. And it doesn't say that it might hurt you, so... Let's go with that. An earth nut? Hmm... It says, some nutritional value, which doesn't sound very inspiring. But I guess I'll take it. Only costs a little bit. Thank you. Have a nice day. I suppose I should probably eat the food and see how good it does me, right? Ooh. Took it down a good amount. What about the peanuts? Tiny amount. I would drink water, but my exhaustion's very high.
Yeah, I've really got to sleep soon. I'm, I'm surprised I'm so exhausted. I guess technically I have been running all over town. I just hope I don't have to sleep before nighttime. Feels like a waste. This is the Kane Residence, right? Yes. Let's see if Ruben's around here. Oh, Mother. Why can't you be here with us? We, the Canes, have always been out of touch with mundane reality. But we are driven by love. Love can be furious, funny, and blind. But there's never a need to make excuses for it, is there? And what exactly did you see in that dream of yours? The one that had to do with me? A truly terrifying battle is ahead of you. If no one has ever told you about your fate, I will be the first. You must know that I admire you in advance, regardless of the outcome. You will fight a foe that few can defeat. Is this a prophecy? You will clash with your foe like a dragon slayer, but your weapon will turn against you. Striking at the heart, you will end up with your own flesh torn. Every drop of blood you squeeze out of that heart will turn into a gulp of yours. If your foe escapes you, penetrates you, or saddles you, you will hear malicious laughter in your ears, and my crestfallen weeping. So it's about the murderer. Well, I will make them regret your tears, whoever they are. Ruben. Whoa. Why is everybody running? What's happening? Uh. Is, is everybody trying to punch that woman? What the fuck? Why is there a gang of four men trying to punch this woman who's running away? Uh, sh should I do something? Uh, excuse me. S stop. S stop. Halt. Citizens arrest. What the fuck is happening? Are you okay, ma'am? I. Should I murder these four people? Well, it wouldn't be murder, would it? It'd be defense? Uh. I really don't know what to do here. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna go now? I feel like it would ruin my reputation if I shot them. I feel like it'd be considered murder, because I doubt the game seriously tracks, like, defending another citizen. I'm, I just don't really understand why they're attacking her. Hold on, I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. Wow, he just took a shot to the head. <clears throat> Crap, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, the sound of the crying baby, that means I'm ruining my reputation. Yeah, so it hurts my reputation. I... 
the game thinks I'm doing a bad thing if I shoot them. I'm just gonna leave them then, I guess. Sorry to the poor woman who probably didn't do anything. I mean, she's running away, so... Also, I swear it's faster to walk backwards than it is to walk forwards. <gasps> they killed her! Why did you do that? Poor woman? I, I guess I'll loot her body. No one else is gonna take it. Bone necklace. Beautiful necklace carved from a bone that does not resemble bullhorn, but rather mammoth or elephant dusk. Smooth and heavy. Prominent example of primitive art. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. People know death. We only endure it, usually from determination, and even from stupidity and custom. Mm, I don't think any of this is going to help me find a Reuben, but uh, might as well go through it, I guess. Which of the locals could help me? Whose word words can be trusted? I don't know for how long you will have to remain here, Doctor. You are most welcome to be my guest, even though I won't try to keep you. While you're here, though, and especially since you're trying to find out the truth, it is my duty to offer you a piece of advice. Okay, I would be most grateful for it. This remote place has a history of its own. There is not enough time to retell it to you, which is unfortunate, since it is the background of the town that may possibly justify some local conventions that will most likely seem barbaric to an educated person like yourself. What traces did history leave in your society, then? There are three truths that rule this town. Three origins. Three ideas, if you like. For several generations, these three powers have been in conflict with each other. I suspect none of them can exist without the other two. Yet each of them still strives to dominate. Each of them has its own voice, too. Oh, he's talking about the three families. The three families, the, the three major powers. Tell me more. These voices are the ruling families. The co-owners of the Bull Project, who have been ruling the town for almost two centuries. Each one of the truths they represent is screaming at the top of its lungs, and in doing so, travesties whatever value it carries. Who are they? The first voice is the Suborovs. The second is the Olgimskis. The third one is us, the Canes. We are the three heads of one beast. Each of the clans will offer their own understanding of what is going on. Each of the three will use their own voice and the voices of their followers to lie and distort the truth. We cannot exist otherwise. However, in doing so, we will inadvertently reveal the entirety of the truth to anyone who would listen. Do not worry. I only trust proven facts. Words alone carry no weight for me. I suggest you believe no one. Perhaps I am the only one of the three rulers that would ask you to disregard his very words. If nothing else, I hope it will win me your favor. At least I am offering you honest advice. You should never trust any of us completely. Neither the Canes, nor the Ulgimskis, nor the Suborovs. What am I supposed to do then? Well, no one will dare lie to your face. I have no doubts everyone will tell you the truth, 
but they will tell it in such a fashion that this truth will conceal the reality better than any deception would. The only thing I'm asking is that you don't jump to conclusions. Compare different versions. Your extraordinary intelligence will allow you to ascertain the truth. That inspires hope. Furthermore, each of us will try to paint a rather ungainly picture of the other two. Most likely we will fill you in on the negative sides of each other faction and withhold anything that is good about them. That is inevitable. None of us will stoop to outright slander, so everything that will be said will most likely be true. But this truth will be one-sided and incomplete. Listen carefully to what we say and take it into account. Thank you. The stories of the evil that the Canes have unleashed unto this world are partially true. Do not feel obliged to act in our favor. As you can see, I will stop before nothing to ensure an unbiased investigation. The lack of prejudice I want to instill in you is the one and only reason why I am making a confession like this. I do not want my brother to have died in vain. Well, here our desires concur, Judge. So the Saburovs have offered patronage to some changeling. Who is she? You know, he just mentioned the changeling, right? The Superovs have offered something to the changeling. And somebody else mentioned the, um... The... Oh, I forgot the name of the person. But the people they're referencing are the other characters that I could have chosen. Although the changeling is actually... You can't actually choose the changeling until you finish the game once with one of the other characters. But they're talking about the the characters that you can play as. So the other characters are still... I think they're still here. I think their stories are still happening. Even without me. It's just that you're not playing them. They're kind of just in the background. Um... I'd like to examine your brother's body. Uh, that's not really true. Now that I think it might be infected, I really don't. But let's just test that. We have sent for Isidore Barak's most accomplished apprentice. His name is Stanislav Rubin. Oh, okay, so they sent for him. Okay, this might actually be the information I need, because I need to find Rubin. Uh, quite a resolute and talented man this Rubin is. I have great expectations of him. He will bring everything you need, and you will examine the body together. All right, so let me know when this Reuben arrives. I would expect him to join you in the evening. No earlier than 11 o'clock, I would say. Why so late? I personally asked him to come no later than midnight. Don't let it worry you. Hmm. It seems you're not in too much of a hurry to ascertain the details of your brother's death. On several occasions, excessive haste has led to undesirable consequences. The phenomenon that Isidore had invited you here to study, it is in our blood. This physiological trait of our family shows itself from time to time. It's quite intriguing. The examination of the body will not help you in any way. This puzzle has to be solved within your mind. I am not able to, or even allowed, to tell you any more than that. Believe me, I'm not trying to conceal any evidence from you. The body is kept in the ice house. It is intact, but focus may not be breached. Ah, right, there's the required uh, period of, of mourning. I will wait for the required period of time to pass. Okay, so now we know that Ruben's going to appear, and they're not going to examine the body without me, so I don't need to worry about them doing it and becoming infected. So, 11 o'clock. And what time is it now? Hmm, still a ways off from 11. It's 6.30 p.m. I feel almost nothing. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I feel almost nothing. Okay, how many doctors are there in your town? I think the answer is just one, right? Wasn't it just Isidore Barak? Well, let's ask anyway. If we exclude Isidore Barak, Stanislav Rubin is the only doctor here. He's the most competent of Isidore's apprentices. The rest are good for nothing, as far as I can tell. They're only capable of distorting the knowledge their teacher is trying to pass to them. 
Do you trust this Reuben? I would trust Reuben with my life. A competent medic of remarkable courage and laudable integrity. Everything he does is done with appropriate diligence and care. He doesn't like people that much, but he's eager to serve them. Why do you ask? I just wonder what kind of man he is. How do I get to know him? Reuben will come here tonight to get down to examining my brother. You will get acquainted then. All right. Well, in that case, uh, I think I better sleep before 11, because I'm going to be completely exhausted by 11 o'clock. Yeah, so let's do that. But, I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return next time, I am going to go to the pond outside of Ava's place, Go see if the worm is still there. See if maybe it's the same worm that tried to attack me, or a different one. Then go inside of Ava's place, go for a little sleep. But make sure I don't sleep too long, because I want to be here at the Kane's residence by 11 o'clock to go meet with Reuben.